Hello, uh, my name is Anna, and I'm going to be doing an environment check demonstration showing you what a good environment check looks like. And before we get started, I want to really emphasize that the environment check is for your protection. It, you're not doing the environment check for me or your instructor or, or professor or anybody else. You're doing it to show that your environment is closed notes, closed books, and follows all of the proctoring rules to demonstrate that you are taking a proctored exam so that we can do these online tests. So what I want to show you first is really quickly what my desk looks like. And what I've got right here, you will notice, is I've got a laptop, a phone, and a notebook right there. Those aren't allowed. You can't have any notes, any books. You can't have your phone. You can't have a second laptop or iPad sitting there. So I'm just going to take these and I'm going to put them out of the way. So now they're out of the way. And now we can go ahead and show what a good environment check looks like. So I'm going to lift this up. All right, so you can be using your laptop. I'm using an iPad. And I'm going to show that I don't have anything in my lap. And then I'm going to come back down and I'm going to kind of get my arms out of the way. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to show a 360 view of my environment. And I'm going to go slow enough. And I want you to notice what the light is doing. So you should be aware of the light in your room and the fact that it's going to make your webcam darken or not darken and that can mess up your stuff. Now I want you to notice my desk and that it's basically clear of all items and I've shown my entire desk. I'm also going to show basically the floor and that I don't have any notes taped to the floor. And I'm going to come up and I'm going to show the wall and the ceiling and the fact that I don't have anything taped up to the wall, no posters, no whiteboards, no notes, no nothing. That was a good environment check, okay? So on the next, um, in a minute, I'm gonna kind of switch to a different view and I'm gonna go over some best practices for my course. Be aware that in other instructors' courses, they may have slightly different rules of expectations. Like I make accommodations for people having kids in the rooms. Like you saw my daughter sitting back there. I'll talk about that in a minute. Other instructors may not. You, you may have to make sure your room is completely clear. So be, be aware that my demonstration of a good environment check generalizes to every single course. Some of the best practices may reflect something that I allow that other instructors will not allow. All right, so just be aware of that as we get started on that. Oh, wait, one more thing before we go on. You may have noticed during the environment check that I had a piece of paper sitting out. So scratch paper is allowed on my test, and so what you do is you show the scratch paper front and back at, during the environment check, and then you're also going to show it again at the end of your exam. Just go and show what you wrote on it, okay? Um, now we're going to go on and talk about the best practices. Have anything down here? All right, so a good environment check is gonna be protecting you, not me. Again, it's all about you. Best practices, you don't have anyone else in the room with you, all right? I know this is not always possible, which is why I purposely had my kids sitting in the background, okay? If you have a kid, you live in a one-room apartment, it, it's just not possible to not have someone in the room. Make sure you show them in the environment check. Make sure you have your mic on so that I can hear that there is no dialoguing taking place, okay? If your kid starts screaming, you know, I need pancakes or something, just tell them no pancakes right now and to go play or whatever, okay? So, I mean, I understand sometimes you don't have a choice with a five-year-old, but just keep the mic on so that I can hear what's going on. You don't want to have the TV going. You don't want to have music with words or lyrics going, okay? So music that's instrumental, classical music, electronic music without words, I don't care. Um, but anything with words and no TV, now there are issues. Sometimes you've got 
the five-year-old in the room with you, and the only way you're gonna get a test done is if you have wild crats on, okay? So if that's going on, make sure you show in the environment, check what's going on, keep the volume low, but audible. Make sure it's nothing related to anatomy and physiology, okay? I've already talked about the scratch paper. I've already mentioned no phones or calculators of any kind. In my courses, I will have a calculator that shows up at the top of the Respondus Lockdown browser if you need a calculator, okay? Um, in the demo, I've already talked about the view that you should be doing. So 360, show the desk, surface, wall, ceiling, floor. Sometimes, some of y'all won't be using a laptop. You're gonna be using a desktop to computer with a giant monitor that you can't really move around. Okay, I understand that. You need to send me an email telling me that that's your situation so I know what's going on. And then you're going to have to be more careful during your testing. You're gonna to have to make sure your eyes and face are always on the monitor screen. You don't lean forward so that I can't see you. You don't start staring at the ceiling while you're thinking. Keep your face on the monitor, okay? Sometimes that's just the way things are and you just gotta be more careful, okay? Again, your work area should be clear, no other electronic devices, no extraneous papers, whiteboards, sticky notes. For some reason, people like to put sticky notes on their walls and then they don't take them down during their test. That's not okay. It doesn't matter if the stickies are about your grocery shopping list, they gotta come down, okay? All of this stuff is all, you know, get rid of it all. I know most of us have a drink on the table. You should have seen my coffee cup, so it's okay to have a drink. Now. Sometimes there are concerns from students about personal items, I get it. Um, if you don't want your personal items to show in the video, remove them before you take your test so that they're not gonna show in the video. Not wanting to show your personal environment is not going to get you out of using Respondus Lockdown Browser and Monitor, okay? So you remove the item. If it is too big or cumbersome to move, say you've got a bookshelf full of naughty videos, take a curtain or sheet and cover the bookshelf. You will have a clean surface. Nobody can see what your personal items are. Same thing, you've got wall art you don't want me to see, cover it with a sheet, okay, or a curtain. Um, I am the, the instructor, whoever your instructor is, is the only person who can see these respondents videos. No students see them. It does not get posted to YouTube. If a dean or associate dean or the dean of student affairs needs to see it, then they need to go into the course shell with the instructor to view it. So your personal stuff is not going to be on view to the entire world, okay? Um, I would appreciate it if people wore clothing for the most part. It's a little weird when you don't. It would be nice if you weren't using any illegal substances um, while you're taking tests. Um, that always concerns me when I see that. So, you know, maybe don't do it. Like, we don't typically smoke cigarettes or vape during a test on campus, so avoid doing that on your respondus videos. Pretend you're actually on campus in a classroom taking a test and try to have your environment simulate that environment, okay? All right, that is it for my um, little demo on what a good environment check is. If you've got any questions, email me.